So Meta came out with its own image generator. It's called Imagine with Meta AI, and I've been testing out a few prompts and it's doing, been doing a pretty good job. So let's dive into the video and let's check this out. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. So here it is right here, Imagine with AI. So it's, it's pretty simple to sign up, go sign up. It's, it's free. Um, it was pretty simple, just click and point type of stuff, right? But it's pretty cool, all right? The monkey, the only thing I did right here is come over here, type in monkey jumping on the bed, and you're gonna see that it created four different images. So there's the first one, the second one, and it's clean, right? It's pretty cool. Like, it's, not, it's not like, I wanna say, what well, obviously, you know, with these type of images, like we've seen some really cool, I personally have seen some really, really cool ones, but Looking at it, look at it, look at the detail, right? Look at the background, look at the monkey jumping on the bed, pretty cool. Yeah, I think that each one is has its own unique, a unique flip on it, right? And different angles, different views, pretty cool. Right here, the little three dots, you can obviously down, download the image, report harm, harmful content, and then you can share if you want to. But let's come over here to a fresh tab. This is what it looks like with nothing in it, and it's giving you some inspiration, like you can think about this, create this, do this, do that, you know what I mean? So as far as like with print on demand too, that's one thing, I'm not sure if, if you guys can help out in the comments as far as you know commercial use. I've been trying to look around, I couldn't find nothing as far as in the policy policies and the terms are just like it's more that's it's more of talking about ai in general and it's not talking about imagine with meta ai now <clears throat> with that being said <clears throat> previous ai tools right image creators image generators whatever you want to call them they have obviously came out and dropped like a certain product like this and then we get you know people that obviously want to create designs and sell them and do stuff like that <clears throat> they get up they get bombarded with questions so they don't expect that because they're new to this type of space and i'm assuming that they just released this they don't know they need to put this is for commercial use or if it's not but they're not clarifying that in the terms of service or policy and I looked, I didn't see it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can, if anyone can help out with that, that'd be really awesome. But I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. So if, if, if I see something, obviously I'll update it, put it in the comments or something like that. So, so let's create a, let's go ahead and create a, an image. So t-shirt and this also too, if you're new to this, so t-shirt design, vector, sticker, anything that you're creating. So as far as like print on demand, I, you know, I personally create a lot of content on print on demand. I do a lot of stuff with print on demand. I've been doing it for a while and I obviously love it. I enjoy it. I have fun with it. It pays, it pays for a lot. Right? So, so for example, let's do t-shirt design. I say also to cartoons, a good one. I've seen it right there. So cartoon is a really good uh, keyword that you can put into the prompt up here. Uh, T-shirt design, let's say monkey eating a banana. I said, I'm just going to put that be very general monkey t-shirt design eating the banana. I'm doing just very general stuff. I'll let it do the work. And there you can see that dancing bears comma paper cut, cut out colorful. I see what they're t-shirt design. Just put like, so for example, it would be like that eat monkey eating a banana. So let's go ahead and generate. It's generating is generating. And one, <clears throat> one thing I want you to realize and notice that you, do you see how fast it generated and created that. And one thing I know a lot of the, the image creators that I've tested out, they always seem to do some weird stuff with like the banana or misplace it somewhere or do something weird. This one, it I'm not sure what's right here on this on his chest, but obviously with the AI generators and the creator, like the, the, these, these generators, like sometimes they're doing stuff and it's, it's like, it doesn't seem like it's right. So you have to learn how to talk to the AI and, and, and mess with it a little bit more. It looks like he's drinking like a, out of a, huh? out of a straw almost, right? Out of the banana, same thing here. They kind of got that retro style background. I got it. Now let's just do something else. Let's say, say, say sticker, beach, palm trees, palm trees. Shh. Throw something big, palm trees, some people walking let's just i'm just throwing stuff at it and see what it comes up with people walking volley and i say volleyball and there let's see what happens let's do that one more time ah sticker but you see how it what it did it's like you got someone holding the sticker so you would definitely have to clean up some of this stuff this is a nice one but you still would have to clean up some of it actual person with this with holding a sticker and this one's pretty nice because it's more zoomed in let's do that now let's throw something else in there like uh put shark and water I'm making it work. I'm just throwing a lot of information in there and see what it comes up with. <laughs> it's working. It's it's trying to get the concept, the idea. I think, uh, yeah. So you just get the idea of it. Let's now let's do let's do shark. Let's do no let's do let's do uh, yeah shark. Put in water. 
with shark and water with little fish fish around the shark shark and water with fish with little fish around the shark and let's put vector hit enter that's so cool. I'm not sure what that is right there. But this was a good one. Yeah, it's a nice shark. That's a cool shark. That can definitely work right there. Just, hmm. And then keep in mind too, at the end of the day, like as you're typing in just different prompts or just different ideas into the actual little box right here, it's 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 going to create like unique stuff, different things. There's so many different things that, that can be created within here. One thing that you can use is I came over here into chat GPT, A-I-P-R-M, and... I came over here and just put mid journey and it'll, it'll generate different prompts for you, right? If you just hit this, this so for example, let's say like a dog t-shirt. And if I just type in that right there, and this is a inside of chat GPT, this is free. Also the, imagine with meta AI is free too as well. But let's say like I want like a certain, like I don't have a prompt idea. I don't know what to type in to this box right here. I have no idea. I'm going to use chat GPT, <clears throat> leverage chat GPT to help me create a few different prompts and it goes into a little bit more detail if you're looking at it right now created one prompt two prompts three prompts four prompts right boom so let's like say for example we want to just grab one of these prompts i'm just going to grab it from here and bring it over here type it in boom and generate put together a ton of stuff that i probably would have never even thought about and look what it's creating obviously you got to still check for your trademarks and your copyrights and you're making sure that you're not doing anything crazy right that's the first thing i always have to remind that just to be safe you know what i mean i don't want no one getting in trouble but as far as this like you can see <clears throat> how it generated that right and then if we come back over here we'll just go over here to the second prompt right and you get the concept you get the idea like you know you have, obviously you can edit and make it your own and how you want to do it but that's a pretty good prompt so each one Pretty cool. Maybe not for like a t-shirt design if you want to calm it down a little bit, but this is just giving you inspiration to come up with different ideas. You can definitely do that. And this is one way to do it. Dang, look at that. It's pretty realistic, right? That's not a, something that's not like a t-shirt design, but like let's say English, English Bulldog, English Bulldog t-shirt design, retro, retro, say with laying down. English Bulldog laying down t-shirt design retro hit that and made so nice now you know most of these AI designs too like this is a little better that's cool and you can see how they have like the layout like the mock-up of the t-shirt so it does that sometimes you can see what it did there uh, but you can work around this you can probably you know go into Canva or uh, whatever uh, video editing software that you're using um, and you, you know it was a photo P you can go to photo P and just outline the whole background and take it out and, and also too like you can even mess with like even adding stuff in there like white background like and then it will create a white background for you so but let me go ahead and let me download this image and then like so for example let me go ahead and download this one just in case and then let me go ahead and hit generate let's do it with the white background we can see what it did with the white background but it's putting it on a t-shirt again but this is a nice one it's actually a great background but still nice this one's cool and messing with the like the background the different color backgrounds you can definitely help you with kind of like isolating the image the design to help you with like help with like editing softwares to help you take out the background easier stuff like that generate yeah see how it did the black background pretty nice Nice, but it has the shirt again. There you go, pretty nice, yeah. So let me show you a quick example on how you can edit out the background. All right, so right here in the actual, here's one, here's three of the images, but you're gonna see right here that they are 1280 by 1280. That's the dimension size of it. They're downloaded in a JPEG, just to just know that you're, so that you're aware. Let's take this image inside of Photo P. You can see we have the actual image there. It has the white outlining on it, right? And I'm gonna come over here to select at the top right there. And then I'm gonna come down to, you can, there's a few different ways that you can do this, right? There's remove background, there's magic cut, there's like a color range in here. So let me go ahead and let me hit remove background. And do you see how easy that was to remove the background? And the <clears throat> Photo P, dot com too is a web based website it's very easy to when you're isolating the actual image itself so much easier for you to remove the background and use the image and then i can come over here and export as a png or whatever format you want to export it and you can export as and then it has all the different formats here now just to give you a quick reminder that as far as like you know the policies or anything like that inside of
imagine with meta AI, the, the, like the policy and stuff, they're very general inside of here. I would definitely kind of do some more research on that or just wait a little bit more, a little bit longer for them to actually release some more information about how you can use this image creator. But, you know, just another, we have another access, we have another, we have access to another image generator, which is really, really cool. And it's free. And if you want to learn about a, another image generator, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions.